to some measurement suppose i have a line i want to me measure the length of this line so for that this command is there shortcut is di enter the command shortcut is di command is this then is asking me specify a first point so i will click this point so before clicking the point it is showing the length if i click it then it will show the here you can see that the length is 15 then it is showing the angle also with respect to x it will show the angle it is 45 degree right now here then it is showing you the delta x delta x is length on the x axis that is horizontal length of this line is delta x and delta v is vertical length of this line so that will be delta y and uh, angle from x y plane uh, and delta z is zero because we are not in 3d so in this way you can use this command uh, di shortcut to measure uh, make any measurements suppose if i want detailed geometric information then you can use the list command for that shortcut is li for list so list command shortcut is li suppose if i see this this circle and if i press the enter it will show this autocad text window where you can see that it is showing the center point for the circle x y z coordinates then it is showing the radius of the circle circumference and area so it is giving a detailed information if in the case of list if i select a line then it will give you the from from point coordinates to point coordinates and remaining data it has given same as dist command so in this way you can use list command for detailed geometric information then if you want to measure area of some particular shape for that area command is there suppose if i have this area and i want to make measurement of this area then you have to give a area command area then he is asking me to specify a first corner point so you start with any point and click all the remaining points and uh, once you clicked all the points then press enter then it is showing you the area and the perimeter on the screen or below also it is showing here and suppose uh, some circular part is there i want to uh, calculate area for this circle then again i will give area command enter then specify first corner point so circular don't have any corner points so here you we, are, we have to use object option so we will to select that object option either you can give o enter or just right click and select object then select the circle so it is showing area and circumference both to you suppose i want to calculate a area inside this shape and outside the circle that means normally we subtract the uh, subtract circle area from this area to get this particular area so that you can do in area command itself you can repeat the last command any last command by pressing the enter so now uh, i press the enter so area command came back so now i want to basically add the outside area into the memory so here is a add area option is there so i will say right click add area then i will click all the points of that outside area then i will say enter then i <coughs> i want to subtract area subtract area of circle so i will say right click subtract area and circle is object then uh, therefore i will say object then i will select the circle so it is showing me the this green area is shown by 96 uh, here or i can press the enter i can see on the screen also so 20 is basically a circle area then total area is 96.31 like that so to come out of this line i can press enter so this 96 was the green area if i want to sh uh, see the autocad text window i have to press the f2 button by pressing f2 i can see this calculation in more detail here so here we uh, we can see that this 116 is outside uh, shape area 20 is circle area and 96 is effective area so in this way we have completed this second lecture so thanks for joining we'll stop here thanks